Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're going to be looking at a very early Mauser C96 cone hammer uh, made right about 1896, maybe 1897. Uh, this one is in the 1800 serial number range, so it's a pretty early gun. Uh, this is obviously, it's a cone hammer, and you can see by the hammer there, that it is uh, it projects out on either side a little bit so collectors over the years have called these cone hammer variations and this was the first variant that mauser uh, made of these this gun is actually in pretty high condition so it's uh, kind of gives you an idea of what they look like when they came out of the factory uh, this is the original blue on this one and as you can see it's just got some of the old machine marks there that have been really nicely nicely done on the panel milling and the bluing is a very high quality uh, commercial grade over that the um, trigger would be left on the in the white on these early guns and uh, it had a different trigger mechanism than a lot of other broom handles uh, than certainly uh, later guns did and it's uh, also the inside there would be left in the white as well whereas on later guns it would not be also, this one's got the standard um, wide serrations on the uh, grips with an almost perfect wood to metal finish that you'll find on the earlier guns and really, really almost all the broom handles except for wartime production guns during World War I. Production really, really, really went down. Um, your standard barrel length on this one, everything very, very standard on this. The one really interesting thing about this gun, uh, most cone hammers had no markings on them in terms of uh, who made them even and uh, Mauser later would add their address on this side usually but this one actually has that information here on this panel and it just kind of goes to show that Mauser was experimenting at this time on where they wanted to mark them, how they wanted to mark them. And as far as I know, this is really kind of a one-off that they did this. Um, I'm not saying there might not be another cone hammer or something floating around that's got this same address information marked like this, but this is certainly the only one um, I've ever come across. Uh, other than that, this gun is very, very standard for an early cone hammer. You've got your uh, standard 10 round integral magazine there and uh, your crown U proof with your standard Mauser chamber markings uh, long extractor with your bolt left in the white this one is also interesting because it has uh, sights graduate out to 500 meters rather than a thousand meters which would be standard on most other broom handles including cone hammers so this one's a little bit interesting just kind of showing that mauser at that time even realized that a thousand meters was a little bit optimistic for these guns yeah other than that uh, everything else is very very typical with this you've got um, your Serial numbers are not going to be on the back of these early guns, except for on the hammer. Uh, a lot of the internal parts will be numbered to the gun, though. Um, and this one is obviously cut for a shoulder stock as well. Um, other than that, just a pretty interesting gun with a pretty interesting Mauser uh, marking on the side here. Again, not really sure why they decided to do it on this one and, and not on a lot of other ones, but this one got that treatment and um, just sort of unusual. So uh, obviously, if you know anything more about these, I'd love to know about that in the comments. If you certainly have one, I'd love to know about that. And uh, as always, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll be doing more videos on all kinds of cool stuff in the near future. Thanks for watching.